Hey, what's good, YouTube? So today I'm finna cook up. Uh, I just bought this sample pack off my boy Ty's new uh, sample kit he just dropped. It's called Entropy. So before I cook up, I actually wanna hit him up real quick and uh, just give y'all a little insight so y'all can like, you know, see the face behind the man making these crazy ass samples. So let's get it. Yeah, it's the man himself. Okay, so I got a question with you, for you. How long did it take to make this sample kit? At first, I was like, I was just thinking, I was like, I wanna, I wanna have my next pack like, like both R and B and trap. Then I, I found that I was making like only R and B samples. So, so then I was like, like shit, I, mean, I might as well make it like two, two kind of sample packs combined. Hmm. And that's where like the dark and light so, came from. <laughs> yeah, it was a hard grind. Though. How many samples were you making a day? On a good day, I'd make like two. On a bad day, I'd make none. <laughs> but at the same time, when you do take breaks, when you come back, you make some crazy shit. At least with me, whenever I take my breaks. Oh, hell yeah, yeah. Yeah, on every single sample, I use Flanger at least once. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Flanger the GOAT. All right, so before I go, what's one advice you'd give somebody who wants to make sample kits like you? Experiment with uh, sound selection and, uh, and effects. And you don't even need, like, like nice effects either. I, I use like almost all stock plugins except like I use like OTT and RC20 and guitar rig and stuff. Almost all the stuff is stock and it works great. Well, y'all heard it from the man himself. <laughs> well, all right, bro. You have a good day. I'm finna go make some crazy shit with your kits. All right. Um, I'm feeling kind of dark, so let's go with the dark. I'll turn this down up. Crazy. I would see what else this man's got. Oh shit. Do we get the stamps to this bad boy? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. Yo, what's good YouTube? So this is Future Me. Um, so the video stopped recording while I was making the beat and I finished the beat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play uh, what I came up with. And uh, yeah, let's get it. All right, so for the intro, um, I got this uh, Mike Dean bass from the Seven Ink Strum Kit. And then I also came up with this impact just to give it like, like, like a movie kind of sound effect. And I also had these two uh, little like smaller hits. And then um, I just had the, some instruments of the sample come in and then I switched up the notes with the uh, bass just to make things not repetitive. And then I had a drum fill right before uh, the beat drop. So I'm gonna play that real quick. break down the drums I came up with um, for the drums I kept it pretty simple I didn't really do anything too crazy so for the rims the only thing different I did was um, add a roll so to do that I just clicked in a note 
press Alt U. And then um, after I got that, I just raised the velocity up to make it like build up to the note that's already there. And this is what it sounds like. Simple. And then I had this kick. Simple, nothing crazy. Add this crash. Simple, nothing crazy. And then I had three open hats. Um, I had one reverse one and then one closed at the end of every fourth bar just to make it like transition to every four bars smoothly. So I'm gonna play that real quick. And then I had these hats I came up with. Um, only thing different I did um, aside from the rolls was um, have open spaces right here just to um, switch up the bounce a little bit. And same thing to get the rolls, I just press Alt U and then switch the mod wheel to match how many notes I want it to repeat by. So I'll play that real quick. And then last but not least, the 808. 808, same thing, kept it simple. Um, I didn't do anything crazy with the 808. So I'll play it real quick. Arrangement wise, I didn't do anything too crazy for the chorus or the verse aside from like, you know, having like this open space right here. Um, for the verse, I just had some instruments come in and out, um, didn't do anything crazy. Just added drums, took drums out. And then for the bridge, I just repeated the same elements from the intro just to bring everything back all around. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and play the beat for y'all. But before I play the beat, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment new video ideas. Let me know what y'all think of this one I just did. I have a link to Ty's sample kit in the description below and his YouTube channel. Y'all go show him some love. And yeah, I'll catch y'all folks in the next video.